Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber Joy. As you can tell by the title, today I'm filming a very realistic and I guess you could say cozy, relaxing night routine. It's a random Thursday night, girl. Obviously, every night is different. It just depends on what day of the week it is. But what I'm getting ready to show you is very realistic and very typical. To be completely transparent, I'm not in the best of spirits. And that was another reason why I was like, pick up the camera and record because sometimes consistency is not about how you feel. Consistency is about pushing through even when you don't feel the best and so my job is to show up for myself and to show up for you guys regardless if I reach you know a hundred thousand people 17,000 people or 20 people I set out a goal to be consistent and to dedicate my time and my effort into creating content so that's that's what we're gonna do I don't know why I'm talking about this I'm supposed to be getting to the night routine I'm excited hopefully you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for choosing this video to click on to watch and i hope that i meet all of your expectations and then some it's 5 51 the day has literally flown by today was kind of rough at work i had some system issues yeah it kind of threw off my whole day and then like things just kept happening and i just felt like a little spiritual attack or whatever but i'm not gonna let that i gotta i gotta fight back i gotta shake back like i can't let the weight of the world interfere with my joy because one thing about it the world didn't give me my joy and the world can't and won't take it away because I won't allow it. Okay, girl. I'm feeling better already just by turning this camera on and talking to you guys. I'm getting ready to go cook dinner. So for dinner, I did pull out some salmon earlier. So I'm making something really simple, but something that I actually have never made before. Normally I make my salmon like the same way every time, but today I'm actually gonna cut the salmon up and then I'm gonna make like a honey sriracha soy sauce, like a little glaze to put over the salmon. And I'm gonna put that over rice. And then I'm also gonna make asparagus. Asparagus is my favorite vegetable. That's the plan. So I'm getting ready to go and head to the kitchen and I'm gonna set it up so you guys can see a little cook with me montage. After we cook, I'm trying to hurry up. I wanna be done cooking by seven because like I said, it's 5.54 right now. If I'm done by seven, that'll give me enough time to watch some, maybe not all, but some of my show because I wanna actually get to the wind down like self-care portion of this video around eight o'clock. As long as I'm in the bed by 10, I'm good. If I go to bed at 11, if I go to bed at 12, oh well, that's on me. But as long as I'm in the bed by 10, I'm good. Anyways, I've talked enough. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Drop some comments, some hearts in the comments down below. Let's start a conversation. I love talking with you guys. Make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time your guests post a new video. Again, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'll see y'all in the kitchen. Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny Yeah. No longer blinded I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awake me from death God, I need you I'm more walking by the flesh, that's when I leave you God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone, No, I'm a child of God I wanna go to Godly way, close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I wanna go to Cali way, close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well, 
I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here I cancel plans with you to me what's saying and break your heart Sometimes I go to you for what you give not I did great on time and I said I wanted to be done cooking by 7, 6.52. Pro tip, get a rice cooker. That's all I'm gonna say. I haven't tasted my food yet, but I made my dad taste it and my brother taste it and they both said it was really, really good. So I made my own sauce. I make soy sauce, minced garlic, honey, and sriracha. I never use sriracha for anything, so. Also, I had like the little thin filet, salmon filets from Aldi, you know, the little frozen salmon. I know, I know. Next time I make this, I'm just gonna get the regular salmon without the skin so I can cut it up in cubes if I really like this. But thank you, Lord, for this food. I'm about to receive it. Be nourishment to my body. Bless the hands that prepared it. Bless the body that's about to receive it. Remove the impurities from it. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Let's try it. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh my God. Why did I do this? This is so good. <laughs> Y'all. I'm my worst critic when it comes to my food, but this right here is so freaking good. It almost tastes like sweet and sour chicken, and it's salmon. Baby, honey child. Okay, I'm sorry. That 10 out of 10. W Din Din. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> then I have my strawberry vanilla Olipop. I was about to say poppy, but I've been obsessed with Olipop. Strawberry vanilla olipop is so good. So good. Here's what we're about to do. So we're gonna watch The Bachelor on my TV. Put my glasses on. Your girl gotta put her eyes on so I can see. Yeah. So Nanja with me doesn't sit right with me. Okay. 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 I know feelings are really starting to develop. Why did I It's a big week. It really is. Hello, darling. I had to pause The Bachelor. It's already 8 o'clock. 8.04 to be exact. I still gotta get in the shower. I still gotta do some skincare. I still have to do Bible study. Like, if we're gonna be in the bed by 10 o'clock, we gotta have you this thing up. We have a little bit of a haul. We got a couple of packages, and then we also have an order from Ulta. I have something from Amazon. I ordered an Octo Buddy, and it's supposed to go on the back of your phone. Basically, it's a suction cup. Not only does it stick to the mirror, it sticks to the shower. Next, I ordered something off of TikTok Shop. They packaged it really well. I finally got the um, Guru Nanda Natural Oil Pulling Oral Rinse. So this is a natural teeth whitening. If you know, you know, but everybody has been raving about oil pulling. Basically, oil pulling, um, it tells you the tradition, the benefits of it. Oil pulling is good for fresh breath, supporting gum health, overall cleaning, and it also can support oral and bone health. Anyways, TikTok shot. Ulta. <laughs> Ugh, it's quite heavy. First things first, both items that I purchased were from Truly. This is their Silky Smooth and Ingrown Free Bikini Line. This is the Kuka Pubic Hair and Skin Set. Okay. The Kuka Wash. Truly is vegan, clean, high performing, animal cruelty free, and fragrance free. So this is um, basically like an organic wash. It's kind of pricey. Uh, but again, this is the pubic hair skin cleanser. It's pH balanced for sensitive skin. It has lavender tea tree, jojoba, primrose, and anti-microbial boost. I don't think I said that right, but Okay, so the next thing that comes in the kit is the cuckoo oil. This is for pubic hair and skin. Basically, it's to hydrate and clear pores. If you shave, wax, nair, whatever you do to groom yourself, after you do it, that can be part of your like aftershave, after wax, care routine. Then the last thing that comes in this kit is the cuckoo concentrate. So this is an ingrown hair serum. So for my girlies that get ingrown hairs, this can be used anywhere. Three little items. <laughs> This is what came in that kit. And then this one I was like really excited about. How freaking cute. This is the smoothest shave of all time. Smooth Legend Shave Set. So first off, it came with a razor. I didn't even pay any mind that it came with a razor. 
but it comes with a cute pink razor and it has two razor heads i love their packaging it's just so like heavy duty It's so heavy duty and good quality. Um, but this is the Smooth Legend Pre-Shave Scrub. Um, this is in the scent Coconut Grape Passion Fruit Lavender and Vitamin E. Oh, girl. My intrusive thoughts wants me to lick it. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do it. Those intrusive thoughts are crazy. Like, girl, why you want me to lick this? This scrub, that's insane. This is what this looks like. It's so pretty and pink, so cute. The next thing it comes with is the Happy Hairless Rich Shave Butter. Yes. And look how freaking pretty. Like, why does this look edible? Why does this look like you can eat it? Like, girl, y'all making me. It just smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good. This is the star of the show. This was really, just like I was really most excited about the Cuckoo Wash, I was most excited about this product. Right here, world. This is the Glaze Donut Aftershave Oil. Look at this. Why? Oh my goodness. It smells so freaking good, man. This, after you shave your legs and then you rub the oil on your body. This is gonna take you to a whole nother level. This is gonna take your self-care routine to bougie to bourgeois. Like, you're no longer bougie, you're bourgeois. Like, y'all, who told me to buy this? Who influenced me? I don't know. I'm 25. If I don't spend money, if I don't waste money on self-care products now, what am I doing? What am I doing when I'm 35 with kids and a husband? Uh-uh. Now is the perfect time to waste money. <laughs> okay, that, that's crazy. Um, let's run it back. But what I'm trying to say is, I think that I'm the perfect age to dibble and dabble in little things and try to find out what I like and what I don't like. It's 8.25, I'm about to get in the shower and then we're gonna switch, transition, switch gears to doing our nighttime skincare, put on some PJs and then we gotta do some Bible study. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mess and let's get in the shower. It's 9.04. We got 56 minutes. I don't care how grown you are. You gotta get some bedtime, okay? Let me tell you something about that cuckoo wash. The tea tree is giving gentle Dr. Bronner's, but with a good lather and a good smell and a good clean. I like, I like it. Okay. However, before we do anything with this skin, I'm about to try this mouthwash. I'm nervous. Ooh. No, I'm not. Mm-mm. Anxious for nothing. All right, girl. 
Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Be anxious for nothing but in everything with prayer and supplication, make your requests known unto the Lord. And the peace of God shall. See y'all, I know, I be knowing my verses, but I don't be knowing my verses in real life. <laughs> oh, it smells good and healthy. Okay, it says to do it for two minutes. Let me just, it says 10 to 15 milliliters. It says shake before using. their teeth when they were washing their mouth with it and i'm like i ain't got no tar i got a little plaque but i am a little tar is tar and plaque the same thing i don't know whatever i'm no dental hygienist hygienist but my teeth aren't that bad um i just did it for like just oral health overall oral health like you can feel this stuff coming off your teeth when you're swishing so that's that grossed me out and then two it's super thick like that was my first time ever oil pulling so and then the sensation to not swallow is crazy because it's like on your throat. That was very much interesting. But I'm about to wash my face. At nighttime, I use the Deep Cleanse by Tatcha. I get this from Sephora. A little bit of a pretty penny, not gonna lie. But it has made a tremendous difference in my skincare routine. Normally, after I wash my face, I go in with my toner. This is Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. If you have hyperpigmentation, dark spots, uneven skin tone, get this. Try this. Obviously what works for me may not work for you, but this is good. Another topical treatment is topicals. Um, the faded cream, that helps my dark spots tremendously. And last but not least for moisturization, I first go in with my hyaluronic acid serum, also by the molecules, and then I moisturize with the ordinary natural moisturizing factors with beta glucin moisturizer. If I'm feeling extra and I wanna do a little lip scrub, I'll go in with the Tree Hut Sugar Lips. For a face mask, I'll go in with the Glam Glow Super Mud, is this? Yep. Glam Glow Super Mud. Another fave of mine for like pore clearing is the Indian Aztec Clay.
and you see me take them pillows off and you see me in this bed the time is 10.08 did I say I was going to be in the bed by 10 o'clock or what I didn't say 10 o'clock on the dot but I said 10 o'clock it's 10.08 let's round down I put my octo buddy on good investment y'all Something I love to do at night is my Bible study. I have ample time to just really set the mood and get into my word. A lot of the times when I'm in the shower, I do my praise and worship in the bathroom. And like, I'll be in there for like an hour. Like I'll be in the shower, then I'll do my like skincare, my oral care, all of that in the bathroom. And so I'll just do my praise and worship at night. And then I'll pray. And then I'll get into my work. I know a lot of people Bible study in the morning. Me personally, for my attention span and just for the sake of time, um, I can't really focus as well in the morning time as I do at night. Only because I don't have ample time in the morning. In the morning time, the only thing that's on my mind is being downstairs and ready and prepared for work. But I do want to start waking up earlier because even when I wake up at 6 a.m., I don't have enough time to devote to God. I know it's like a thing. People are like, oh, you know, you should give your first to God and you should. But also I do believe that you should just be giving time to God in general. And so obviously I need to challenge myself and step out of my comfort zone and make the morning time priority. So I know that 6 a.m. doesn't work for me, 7 a.m. doesn't work for me. So what do I need to do? I need to wake up earlier so I am I do have a desire to be a 5 a.m. girly so I think that's something that I'm also going to take you guys along with me is like waking up at 5 a.m. is that something that y'all want to see I don't know that would be very realistic as well as you you can't tell I'm not the most aesthetic girly and that's okay <laughs> you got enough aesthetic girlies on YouTube I'll be the realistic girly okay but the way I do my Bible study is also not aesthetic so the way I do it when I actually do my Bible study when I first 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 started getting into my word and what helps me comprehend my word was the soap method I mean if you don't know what soap is soap is an acronym for scripture observation um, application and prayer so you pick a scripture out of your reading that stood out to you you write down what you observe from that scripture you write down the application process like how that applies to you and then you write down a prayer now that was cool but I felt myself doing like three four soaps a reading because I can't just pick out one scripture especially if there's like a really deep meaning behind. like it was just not really efficient for me so what I do now I have my iPad I have it to where it's reading it to me and then I'll pause to highlight something else that I've recently started doing there's a lady on YouTube called um Kano Gibson and she does her channel is called Heart Dive with Kano Gibson or Heart Dive with Kano and basically Kano is it Kanoi? Kanoi Gibson. She does a 365 365 day Bible study. So she breaks down the books and she posts or they want to say she posts every day but if there is a book that you're reading and you just need help comprehending the book or you really want to know more um about what you're reading you can definitely look up a uh, heart dive and then she'll kind of break down the the book like yesterday i read exodus um i'm in the late 20s in exodus and i watched i had already read chapter 26 through 27 or no yeah i think i read up to chapter 28 i don't know but she, i went to one of her videos and it broke down chapters like 25 to 28 something like that or 25 to 27 and so it's convenient for me because I get a refresh after I read it. And then if I want to reread it, I can, like, you know. Soften up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity. Reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. Walk her down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach, like the angels do. And you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer, greater is the one within a call. 
a master leader Teach her how to hold her pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver He'll deliver like a dealer To take her Okay guys, I'm getting ready to call it a night. I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all goodnight. But I'm about to finish my Bible study. I just wanted to show y'all a little snippet of it. Yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it for my very realistic, cozy, and relaxing night routine. Thank you for spending a random Thursday with me. I love you guys so much. If you made it to the end, you are a real one. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and for tuning in. Like I always say, stay blessed, stay prayed up, and stay tuned. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, babes. Good night.